Hi everyone, in this video we're going to learn about the quotient rule for differentiation. And its formula is shown in the upper right hand corner of the screen here. So let's go ahead and see how to use that rule to work through the first example we have here. We need to differentiate f of x which equals to 3 sine of x over x squared. And for the sake of comparing it to our formula, I'll go ahead and call the function 3 sine of x u of x, and the function on the denominator x squared v of x. Now looking at the formula, it's quite clear that we're going to need the derivative of both u and v. And here's how I would suggest doing your working. First of all, I'd clearly state that u of x equals to 3 sine of x. Its derivative, u dash of x, is therefore equal to 3 cosine of x. And on the denominator we have v of x, which equals to x squared, and its derivative, v dash of x, is therefore equal to 2x. And now that we have this working out of the way, we can go ahead and state that the derivative, f dash of x, equals to u dash times v, so that's u dash of x times v of x, minus u times v dash, so that's u of x times v dash of x, and all of that's written over v squared, so I'll just write v of x squared. And now that we've written this and reminded ourselves of the formula, we go ahead and replace u, v, u dash, and v dash by the functions we have here. So we can go ahead and write that that's equal to u dash, which is 3 cosine of x, times v, which is x squared, minus u, which is 3 sine of x, times v dash, which is 2x. And all of that is written over v squared, so that's x squared squared. And now we simplify as much as possible. And so bringing this x squared to the front of this cosine of x, as well as this 2x to the front of this sine of x, this becomes 3x squared times cosine of x minus 6x times sine of x, all of which is written over x squared squared, where we multiply these two powers together to write x to the power of 4. Finally, we notice that all three terms on this fraction have a common factor of x, and so we can simplify one step further to write f dash of x equals to 3x times cosine of x minus 6 times sine of x over x cubed. And that's the answer. Let's look at the second example. We need to differentiate y, which is equal to 2x squared minus 5 over 3x plus 4. Again, we can see that we're dealing with one function being divided by another, and so I'll go ahead and call the numerator u, and the denominator v, so that's v of x. And just as I did for the first example, the first thing I'll do is get the derivatives of both u and v out of the way. So let's see, we know that u of x equals to 2x squared minus 5, and therefore u dash of x will equal to 4x. We also know that v of x equals to 3x plus 4, and its derivative, v dash of x, will just be equal to 3. And now that that's done, we can go ahead and apply the quotient rule to state that dy dx equals to u dash times v, so that's u dash of x times v of x, minus u times v dash, so that's u of x times v dash of x, all of which is written over v of x squared. Now we replace u, v, u dash, and v dash by the functions we have here to state that this equals to u dash, which is 4x times v, which is 3x plus 4, and because it has two terms that are being added, we write them inside a pair of parentheses, so that's 3x plus 4 minus u of x, which also has two terms, that's one being subtracted from another, so they go inside a pair of parentheses as well, that's 2x squared minus 5, times v dash, which is just 3. And all of that is written over 3x plus 4 squared. And now all we have to do is simplify this as much as possible. And for that, I'll start by distributing this 4x across this first pair of parentheses, as well as the 3 across the second pair. So that would be 4x times 3x, which is 12x squared, plus 
4x times 4, so that's 16x minus, in parentheses, 3 times 2x squared, so that's 6x squared minus 3 times 5. So that's 15, and I close the parentheses, and all of that is written over 3x plus 4 squared. Notice that I didn't open the second pair of parentheses right away, and the reason for that is because it's being subtracted. So to avoid making any sign errors, I take care of that in a second step, which I take right now. This equals to 12x squared plus 16x minus everything that's inside this pair of parentheses, so that's 6x squared plus 15. And all of that is written over 3x plus 4 squared. Finally, I gather like terms on the numerator to simplify as much as possible and state that dy dx is equal to 6x squared plus 16x plus 15. And again, that's written over 3x plus 4 squared. And that's the final answer. Notice that at no point in time did I open up the pair of parentheses on the denominator. And the reason for this is because having the denominator written this way makes it far easier to see any values of x at which it could equal to 0. Furthermore, since the denominator is squared, I can see right away that it must be positive, and that can be quite useful when studying the sign of the derivative. So, when possible, leave the denominator this way. And there we have it. We now know how to differentiate one function being divided by another using the quotient rule. And that's it for this tutorial.